Welcome to Fullerton College Vo Men's Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. We're live from the Hornets Nest here on the beautiful campus of Fullerton College. As the Hornets take on the Olympians of San Diego Mesa College tonight. I am Jerry Roquet, joined alongside my good friend Garrett Geimer, Ryan Schulman, Brady Knight, and Jay Aruya, who are going to be on the air later tonight. Some key players tonight. San, or excuse me, San Diego Mesa is coming off a 3-2 loss last Friday versus the state defending champs Orange Coast Pirates. Fullerton is also coming off a 3-1 defeat to, the San, to San Diego Miramar. Some key players for starting lineups for the Fullerton College Hornets will be Denim Young, Denim Young, Andrew Ramos, Billy Vang, Nathan Cheeve, Albert Razzo, JP Deluna, and Marcus Blewett. And the starting, the starting, <laughs> the starting Ross star for San Diego Mesa tonight is going to be Jorge Hernandez, number one. We've also got Santiago Mantovani in there as well. We've got Richard Aguinagua, Ricardo Loria, Austin Keenier, and number 23, Isaac Grant. This is set to be a pretty good matchup today. I think a lot of uh, the Hornets today are looking to get back and bounce into another victory to kind of progress them into OEC, Garrett. Yeah, San Diego Mesa, they faced these Fullerton Hornets earlier this year. They won it 3-0 mm -hmm. versus the Hornets on the 3rd of February. Fullerton is definitely looking to get some revenge here. And with San Diego Mesa coming in tonight, they have already played a couple of the OEC Empire, uh, excuse me, the OEC teams. Uh, they have already played Irvine Valley, which they did take a loss to. So I know that the Hornets are going to be taking a look at that film and kind of getting an idea of the matchup that Mesa put up against them and see how they can defeat Irvine Valley. Players to watch for today is going to be for the Hornets. Number nine, Nathan Chief. He's got 319 assists on the year as well as 17 digs. 12 kills on the season, and assist per set is at 9.3. So he's definitely going to be a key factor for the Hornets tonight. And for Mesa, they're going to be looking out for him as well and trying to shut him down in order to secure a victory for them and keep that streak going. And like you said, that 9.38 assist per set, that is the number one in conference play for Orange Empire Conference. So he's definitely taking a big lead in the Orange Empire Conference, which, as we know, Garrett, is one of the most competitive conferences, if not the highest and most competitive conference in California. We know Northern California has a lot of great teams down there, but honestly, when we're talking volleyball, SoCal is where it's at, Garrett. I think a lot of the most dominant teams are in Southern California here, and they're all going to be in this Orange Empire Conference. San Diego Mesa isn't in the OEC, but they do face a lot of those matchups in the OEC, so this is gonna be a really, really good game to see how some of these other teams outside the OEC kind of get to compete in this conference. As we get the first point there by Mesa, or excuse me, by the Hornets, with Denim Young serving. And a big strike there over by Isaac Grant. Yeah, Andrew Ram Ramos, they targeted him right there. We saw back and forth action earlier when we watched these Hornets two weeks ago. So let's see how, you know, the theme is really early. It looks like the same type of thing. It looks like the energy's up really high from both sidelines here as Aguinagua takes the first strike for Mesa. Back into the far corner there. Austin Keener just not able to get it in there. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to go to the middle, but there were so many Hornets there that they just tried to pick that outside corner and missed it by a few feet. And I think that outside corner is where the Hornets really got affected in the last broadcast we did. I felt like that was one of the areas there that we just weren't able to quite cover. So we'll see if Coach Ed Rapp was able to kind of fix some of those nuances, see if the Hornets can secure a victory there. But a great strike there. Over by Andrew Ramos. Andrew Ramos returning the favor. Freshman outside hitter there. With a big strike to get the possession back into the Hornets' hands as Albert Razzo lines up here for the Hornets. A huge strike there once again by Austin Keener. You see, that's that same spot he was going for last time, so we'll see if they keep attacking that back corner. Seems to be working out for them so far. Yep. 
as Isaac Grant lines up for Mesa. Looking to keep the hot streak going. Received by Denham Young. Just tapped over. Great defense there by Mesa. Once again, Denham Young back over to Andrew Ramos. Andrew Ramos ever able to get it back over. As Hernandez sends it over to Young. And a great shot there. Great defense by the Mesa, or excuse me, by the Olympians. But not able to succeed. Point will be rewarded over to the Hornets. Blocked by Billy Vang. Billy Vang leading the team with 82 kills. As we get the shot there by Alex Gostella. There's that back corner again, Garrett. I feel like that's going to be one of the key spots there today. As Alex Gustel is just not able to get it over the net. Had a lot of power on that shot, but just not enough to tip it over. Yeah, Fullerton looks like they've adjusted, stepped back in the court a little bit for, these, for this next. So. Denim Young up high. Back over to Ramos, and Ramos able to score that point. A great shot there. Look at that power by the young man right there, the freshman outside hitter. Once again, striking for the Hornets. Right through the fingers of Austin Keener, one of the top players for Mesa. As, um, as Ramos is set. And great defense there by the Hornets. That was Billy Vang up front with the block. Great shot attempt there by Ricardo Lora. As Ramos lines up once more. A little bit of a floater there on that shot. Not a whole lot of spin on there. A big strike there by Mesa. Austin Keener is not able to block it. A great shot there by the Hornets. Yeah, Denham Young getting up there. Uh, Sandy Mesa steps back, leaves the pocket. Drops off, speed pitch in the middle, gets the point back for Fullerton. Ramos once more with the serve. Received over by Hernandez. It's gonna go back up top to Hernandez. Great block there by Billy Bang. Denham Young going up for the block as it's floated over by Mesa. Looking to set it up once more. And a great diving attempt there by the libero. As it go back far deep. Looking to set it up, and a great shot there, and a great assist there for the Hornets. Finally. Nathan Cheeve and Billy Vang working together on that one. Yeah, finally punching one through. San Diego Mesa had a great defense or recovery during that back and forth little volley. Fullerton was up there at the net. As we take a look at some of the team comparisons here, overall, uh, the overall record for your Hornets is three and six, and San Diego Mesa is at seven and three. Hornets at 352 kills, and San Diego Mesa at 421. So this is a very offensive-driven San Diego Mesa team who seems to be trying to go for every single shot attempt. You can see their assists are up high there as well at 398, 436 digs, and 93 blocks. So a very dominant up-front team attacking and defensively, uh, while your Hornets are a little bit lower behind. So we're going to have to hope that the Hornets are able to really produce offense today and get off to the hot start that they are. They're already up to an 8-3 lead, so... The energy is really high for this Hornets team, and we'll just have to hope that they can carry into the next sets as well. Yeah, coming out this timeout, they want to just continue to keep their foot on the gas. And an early timeout as well, I'd say. You're listening to Fullerton College Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. Andrew Ramos set back to serve. A little bit more rotation on that shot there. There's a big strike there by Mesa. Number 16, Ricardo Laura. 6'6 six, six freshman from Grossmont High School. You see every inch of him getting up at the net to yeah. slam that one down. Has 50 kills on the season, so I'm sure he'll be set to make a big impact for the Olympians in today's game. As the possession will go back over to the Hornets. Austin Keener, one of the more lethal players on the San Diego Mesa team, just couldn't get it off over the net. As Billy Vang set to shoot, ball's wide over. Great block attempt there by the Hornets, able to survive. And a great shot by Denham Young to get it over, and Mesa just not able to recover from that shot. And I think we're seeing that the defense for Fullerton is what's going to keep them in this game. They've kept, they've kept, block, they've kept the blocks 
really nice at the net. It's pushing that far corner for us. Mm -hmm. We've seen it four or five times now so far. And this offense is getting off to a hot start. And another huge block there by the Hornets. As they're able to keep that possession and build to an 11-4 lead. Once again, that same corner, Austin Keener up there. A great job there by Nathan Cheeve and JP De Luna, able to get up nice and high. As Billy Vang sets off for the Hornets. And just a little bit of a miscommunication there, Garrett. Mesa is getting a little shaky right now, but I'm liking this for the Hornets offense right now. Yeah, Hernandez was trying to flip it back to Waylon and didn't kind of over pursued and the ball was right behind him. Ooh, and a great diving attempt there over by Alex Costello, but just not able to get enough on it and just squibs right over him. But great diving attempt there by the Hornets. We'll yeah. see if their defense can hold up, like you said. A nice quick attack there by Loria. As Jorge Hernandez sets the shot for Mesa, and a great shot by Denham Young. I mean, the power from this young man right here. It's remarkable how high this kid can get. And yeah. just the sheer force that comes off of that ball is able to find that corner and secure another point for the Hornets. Also defensively too, you see him on both sides producing at a high level for Fullerton. Back deep, Nathan Sheeve for the serve. It's another block attempt will go for the Hornets, but unfortunately it's gonna go out of bounds, Garrett. But a great effort there by J.P. DeLuna as the Olympians will regain possession and we'll see Mikey Whalen go back for the first time and start off the set and see if Mesa can start to build some momentum here. Mikey Whalen, one of their best defensive players, leads the team 78 digs. And that's why. <laughs> right there. Great defensive player. It's always a little eyes wide when you get that serve for a libero. And a little bit of a top spin on that shot as well. I noticed. Uh, a lot of our Hornets guys right now are kind of taking some straight shots, a little bit of floaters, but Mikey Whalen there, able to get a little bit of top spin on it, just finds that back line to secure another point. Up top for Denham Young as he strikes that with power and he's able to get another point and regain possession for the Hornets as they build a 14-7 lead here in the first set. Jerry, this has been a dominant start for these Fullerton College Hornets. They're doing whatever they want. They're blocking... Ne nearly everything from mm -hmm. San Diego Mesa and Denham Young alone is just putting on a show. So we got a little bit of a whistle there. I thought they were going to let him play through, but looks like he kind of pancaked it under, but the referee unfortunately will say no. I was going to say that was a nice play. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it hit the the wood. Your referees for today, Adriana Morales. And Adriana Morales, we actually did get the chance to see her play for Golden West. She was all OEC this past season for the Golden West wrestlers in the Orange Empire Conference. So shout out to her as she's a former student athlete coming and helping out other former student athletes here as the Hornets are able to secure another point and build their lead to 15 to eight. Your other refs for today will be Rachel Jensen, Gino Osborne, and Marianne Lobo, who we've got the opportunity to also see in a couple of matchups in the previous season. Back deep for the Hornets. Albert Razo with a great power shot there. A little bit of topspin. Mesa able to hold on to it. Back over to Razo. Back over to Denham. As it's going to hop back over. Mesa looking to strike. Great save there as Denham Young's able to dive and get it over. The Olympians looking to get a hot start here as well. Over to Chi. Back over to Ramos. And Ramos just unable to get it over. Looks like he was going for a little bit of a floater there, but. Just not enough to get it over the net. Just couldn't get it. You're right, Jerry. He was kind of, his momentum was kind of bringing him back. Yeah. He was trying to get just a little bit enough. A little bit to the side there. But Denham Young, again, wow. The superstar just of this all team. All over the court. Isaac Grant back deep as he shoots another very hard one. Able to pancake it over. Andrew Ramos and Denham Young almost running into each other. As a block there from Nathan Chee will go up a little too high and just sail out of bounds for them. Coming out of this timeout, San Diego Mesa only allowing one point. They've gotten four straight. 
and the momentum has shifted here. Back over to Isaac Grant, gets it over to Ramos. The Olympians able to hold on. Ramos with the serve. Back over to Isaac Grant, blocked by Chief. Excuse me, Vang. Looks like there'll be a net violation there. A point will be rewarded over to the Hornets. And they're able to hold on to that lead by six points as the score is 16 to 10. Hornets leading in the first set. Billy Vang, top player for Fullerton, second in conference coming in tonight with 82 kills. Freshman Alex Gustelov with the serve. As he's able to get a service ace there. As the Olympians not able to control that ball possession. Point rewarded over to the Hornets as they build their lead to 17 to 10. And we saw that earlier in the match, San Diego Mesa not being able to receive these Fullerton services from the start. A great power shot there. As Billy Vang able to get another huge block and regain that possession, or excuse me, keep that possession for the Hornets here as they keep on building their momentum. As we get a quick substitution change in here for the Olympians. Coming out, Jorge Hernandez and coming in, TJ Latula Gasanoa. That was still just out of bounds there. A little bit too hard of a shot there by Alex Costello. And we haven't heard much of TJ Latula Noah very much, but he's led this team so far in 60 digs. One of my key players coming into tonight. A great diving attempt there by Denham Young, but just unfortunately not able to get it over as Alex Costello will squirt it into the fence there. Excuse me, the net. Denim Young, even if it's not a point, it's still impressive <laughs> how much ground he's making some saves. He's keeping that he ball alive, cover. Garrett. Santiago Mantovani back with the serve, and he'll just airmail that over. Oh, <laughs> looks like we almost got the the, <laughs> the iPad down. We did. <laughs> As Andrew Ramos is set to serve, and there's that little floater there. Not a whole lot of rotation on the ball. As the Hornets will get a line violation there, a point will be rewarded over to the Olympians. As Austin Keener takes over possession and will start the ball for the Olympians. Austin Keener, the freshman, 52 digs, second on the team. Oh, and a little bit of a, a soccer save. kick there. <laughs> Great save. As the point will be rewarded back over to the Hornets. Billy Bang. And guess like, who? Ooh. Denham Young got up there to score that point. Looks like he's got a little bit of an injury here. A little shaken up on that landing. First time I've seen him jump up at the net tonight. As we get a substitution here coming out. Unfortunate for Fullerton. As Cameron Hecker comes in for Denham Young. Cameron Hecker. Freshman outside hitter. Only played in six matches so far. 14 sets, young kid. Big shoes to fill. But I will say, I do like that this team is fairly, you know, relatively young. You know, we only have three returning sophomores back on this Hornets team. So I, I always like that because I feel like that's going to just build a lot of connections and a lot of chemistry between this team. We do have a couple of redshirt freshmen on this team. So hopefully in the next two seasons, they're able to kind of connect and start to make a little bit more connections and make a bigger impact in the OEC conference. And we can see how talented this team is against a team that has beaten some of the top programs in the, in the state. And there's Cameron Hecker floating that ball over. Hecker once more, but that's gonna fall just out of bounds as a diving attempt there. It's made by Nathan Chief, but unfortunately just not able to get through. Current score, 20 to 15. Your Hornets leading here on 90.1 KBPK. Back deep. TJ Latula Gasanoa with that shot, but just not able to get it over the fence. Your Hornets will take over possession as we get a quick substitution change here. As Alex Gustella will come out and Marcus Blewett will come in for the substitution. Marcus Blewett, the freshman right side attackman. And back deep for your Hornets, Nathan Chief. 
Nathan Cheeve, the freshman outside hitter. 12 assists. And a block attempt made there by the Hornets, but it'll fall just out of bounds. Point will be rewarded over to the Olympians. One of the few pickups for Fullerton in that corner, saw they blocked almost everything except for that last one. The momentum has felt kind of a shift since Stenham Young kind of went down. Let's see if Fullerton can regain that spark they had at the earlier. Roy Rojas with that serve there. As the Hornets are unable to convert on that one. Marcus blew it just out of reach on that one. But a great, uh, great save there by the Hornets to set it up. As Rojas is back for the serve once more for the San Diego Mesa Olympians. A little bit of topspin on that ball. And unable to convert is J.P. DeLuna. It looks like he really, really wanted some power on that shot, but just not able to get it over the net as a timeout will be taken by your Hornets. Fullerton College and RadCare reminds you to take care of your mental health and face of, and the face of uncertainty, and that RadCare is as easy as reaching out, asking for help, doing something. Fullerton College students can reach out, can reach the FC Health Center for more info about therapy and health at, at health.fullcall.edu or the crisis text line by texting TALK to 741741 or calling the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273 Radical care, the root of care. As we come back from that timeout, Roy Rojas once more with the serve for the Mesa Olympians. As the Olympian sideline starts to get fired up here for the shot from Rojas. Back up top to Cameron. And the point will be rewarded over to the Hornets as they build their lead to 22 to 18 here in the first set. Trying Cameron had to, oh, go ahead. Trying to close this one out. Yeah, they had a little stutter here in the middle. Um, Denim Young, I feel their star tonight. Kind of a little flat after, after he got injured for the Hornets. We'll see if the Olympians are able to capitalize on that momentum and swing it back their way as the point there will be scored by number 17, TJ Latula Gasanoa. Latula Gasanoa is going to be one of those impact players for the Olympians today. We'll see if he can hold on to that momentum and be that key factor for the Mesa College. Back deep, Richard Aguinagua. Back over to Chief. He'll send it over to Ramos, but that will go just out of bounds, missing that back corner. And San Diego Mesa crawling back. It was, they, Fullerton had a seven point lead at one point. As Aguinagua sets. A little bit of top there, over by Cameron. And Hornets just not able to defend that as Marcus Blue and Cameron Hecker unable to make that save. Fullerton has not gotten the receptions cleanly these last couple points, and San Diego Mesa is capitalizing on it. Not even full attack sometimes. It, that Like that one, they just flipped over on a reception, and nobody was there and for it, Fullerton. And it looks like at the beginning of the set, they, were, they really seemed to be attacking that back corner and that back baseline there, but now it seems like they're kind of shifting forward a little bit more and trying to attack the center of the court there, but it seems like the... Olympians here found a little bit of a weak spot in the Hornets, and we'll see how the, the Hornets here adjust to that as we yeah. come back from the timeout. Yeah, I think San Diego Mesa is trying to get at Razo. He kind of backs up every time, and he makes that first reception, flips it over, but just the relentlessness of Mesa to just come back and pound it closer to the net this time than that back corner is what they were doing earlier. Aguinagua once more for the Olympians. With a powerful shot there. It'll go up to Nathan Chief. who will dump it back over the net. Assist there by J.P. DeLuna. Excuse me. Shot there by J.P. DeLuna, who will come back out. And nice. Billy Vang will come in 
as a substitution. Nice job by Cheeve on that last one to set that layup up. Fullerton desperately needs to regain a little momentum to close this one out. Albert Raza with a great shot there. A lot of topspin getting it to curl over. And a great diving attempt. Nice little pancake pass there by Cheeve. As they'll go for the back corner and Cameron Hecker just not able to convert to make that save. Turned Hecker around a little bit. He thought they were going back to that corner that we yeah. kept talking about. That time switch up. I think, gets Mace, the ball back I think quick. Mace is starting to realize that they're uh, they're kind of anticipating that back corner. So a great shot there by the Olympians to go the opposite way. Current score 23 to 22. Horns still leading by one. First to 25 will win the set, or if they win by two. Great job there by Billy Vang. Back over to Chief, who'll send it over to Ramos, who floats it up. Back to Ramos. Back over to Chief. Thought that was a double tap there as the Hornets were a little confused looking for the referees, but referees to say the ball will stay in possession, or excuse me, will stay live. Mesa is able to tie the game back up. A great job by Mesa. Austin Kinnear up there blocked three shot attempts for, from Fullerton to just keep that little volley alive. They tied it up, and it was like no panic for Mesa. They tried a little floater over his head. His guys came up with good communication. Fullerton needs to get back to that style of volleyball that we saw earlier in this set. The referee will give the clear for Isaac Grant to send the ball over. So they're tied here, 23 to 23, here in the Hornets' nest. Billy Vang with a powerful shot to give them the one-point lead. A little bit of frustration let out maybe for Billy Vang. Just trying to close this one out. He's had enough of the Mesa comeback. He's just trying to nail this one shut. And you can see the look of determination in his face change in that set. You can hear the power too. Mesa with a little of their own. Billy Vang and Andrew Ramos getting up nice and high with the block there. And that will secure the first set for the Hornets, winning 25 to 23 in a series and the best of five. As both teams will switch sides on the court. Now, Garrett, we'll get a little bit of a better chance to look at this Mesa team since we're closer on this side and see how kind of how this offense and defense is working out for this team. Yeah, I like the pulleys that I've been seeing, seeing for Mesa so far. They've There's no panic. Even when that big, long, hot start for Fullerton, they were just, you know, stayed together. You know, they've been here before. They've beaten big-name teams. They gave OCC a run for their money last week, uh, number one team, defending champs, actually. So we know how talented these guys are. Don't forget the coaches show, folks. 90.1 KBPK on YouTube, on radio every week. We got to sit down with a couple of these players last week to get their thoughts on the match coming up and previous. I'm Garrett Geimer, and you're watching Fullerton College Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. Fullerton took this first set 25 to 23 over the Olympians. I'm joined alongside Jay Aruya for my play-by-play -play guy. Jay, what was something that you saw up in the cameras, working on the cameras, that you... Fullerton came out pretty aggressive this time around. Um, they made sure that they met the intensity of San Diego. Yeah, and they started off pretty quick, and they ended up cleaning that one at the end. We kind of saw that last week when we called this team. They started a little hot. They kind of came back in the middle, and then they were, weren't quite able to close it out. We've seen a kind of different attitude, if you will, for this Hornets team that, I've, that, we've, that we did last week. Yes, much improvement, much improvement. They were able to close out the first set this time around. They struggled with some sets last week, but a lot of improvement this week. And a lot of, uh, one thing that I've noticed 
the momentum kind of switched. The Fullerton got that lead, or got that win, I should say, excuse me. That set, but the it kind of changed. The momentum kind of changed, and I would say maybe maybe it has to do with Denham Young being wa walked out a little early. Um, he yeah. was just absolutely flying around when we were talking about him last set. Just play after play on both sides. Blocks, you know, with the digs, huge slam down to keep that mo to get that momentum going. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how Fullerton's gonna make adjustments without Denham Young in this next set. Yeah, and it's interesting to see. We're gonna have to check on Albert Razo, the freshman out of Pomona, California, at Diamond Ranch High School. All eyes on him to kind of fill that big role of a Denham Young. On the floor for, f excuse me, for Fullerton. Jason Thompson's out there. Nathan Chief, of course. JP DeLuna. Billy Vang, Andrew Ramos. And for Mesa, still trying to figure it out, but same set as we saw last. Last set. Um, Roy Rojas steps in for Libero, a freshman out of Helix High School. He will be the defensive specialist for this, at least to start this set. TJ Latua Ganoa and Austin Keener, two of the, their leaders in points and kills. So Fullerton has to play some good defense in this good volleyball round, I would say in this next set to see if they can pull another one away. And that's a good start for Fullerton. Grazes the net. That was Richard Aniagua on the service. Gives it right back to the Fullerton Hornets. Albert Razo back deep to pitch for Fullerton, the freshman out of Pomona, California. Reception by Mesa, trying to set it up. Over pursued a little bit, but they got it over. Chief sets it up for Billy Vang. It is, it is blocked. Jason Thompson with his first, first point of the night. He was going crazy last week. He had a couple points. Jason, Jason Thompson was really nice right there with the collection of the point. Albert Razo a little bit too much on that one, flips it to the back. Side out Hornets. San Diego Mesa will get it back for service as Isaac Grant, the six foot one sophomore, as he flips it over, targeting Raza with the cover recovery. She flips it to Vang, gets it over, but nice play by San Diego to save it. Razo sets it up. And they're gonna try to score with with Connor Stoby, but just not enough, too much on it, I should say. Back in the corner, trying to re, trying to go back to that back corner. Me and Jerry were talking about. Now it's Fullerton on the attack. It's the ball started rolling away there. Isaac Grant is about to serve. Rancho Bernardino High School. Flips it over, little joust at the net. They'll give it to Mesa for the point. Three, two, a little slower start, I would say. These these last couple ones, match or volleys, have taken a little bit more time than they did at the beginning. Then it was just straight scoring. So a little different approach for both these teams. Chief sets it up for Thompson, flips it over. Great pace for Mesa. And that time they'll go to Austin Keener, one of their better players, targeting Nathan Chief, who leads the team in digs, but that time just couldn't, couldn't collect it. As Grant is back once again. Number Flips 18, Austin Keener is an impact player. Raise the net. 
the little fake to attempt to Thomas or Thompson, but he didn't fool Mesa. This time he got it. A big wall up front by Mesa. That was Keener. Albert Razo. And Fullerton will slam it down, but there's an injured player for the San Diego Mesa Olympians. He's back on his feet. That is Austin Keener. One of their, you know, we've been talking about him. He's been really impactful these last couple of volleys. It looks like just on that shot there, Keener kind of lost his footing there as he was trying to slam that ball down. Landed on his hip a little bit there. Kind of felt the, the floor shake when he made that impact, but luckily yeah. he's up now. He's out there smiling, tapping his friends. You know, he's all good. He's ready to play some ball. This is what it's all about. Great job by the referee as well, kind of recognizing that and keeping those players nice and safe, you know. You always get worried because if they play through, there's a chance he could get stepped on or any of that stuff. So great job by the referee being aware of that stuff. Absolutely. And for the players, you know, the adrenaline, you know, you might not feel that at first. Um, just keep an eye on him maybe and make sure that he might have, you know, lost his footing. All right, back deep for San Diego Mesa once more. Isaac Grant flips it over. There's Chief. They're going to flip it to Vang. And Vang will get a swing at it, but it was Ramos that deal, dealt the attack. Touch the fingers of a San Diego Mesa Olympian, and Fullerton will get this ball back as Ramos backs up to serve. Or Gustea, excuse me. Where's Ramos? Nice play by Mesa. Nice play by Isaac Grant of Mesa, but they just couldn't recover after that. Flailed it into the back side of the court out of, out of play. So now we're all tied up 4-4, kind of methodical this time around in this match. The set. There you go again. Andrew Ramos with the block. Back corner. That time he was all alone. We, we've seen that a lot tonight. And I expect to see a lot more. These, these guys are living and dying at that net right now. A little too much power. A little slap down by Latuga Nasanoa. And Fullerton will regain possession. Little communication with the refs here. It's like they're all trying to get a little bit of a clarification on who scored that point there as they all collect. Adriana Morales, Rachel Jensen, Gino Osborne, and Marianne Lovo are our officials tonight. It looks like the point will be rewarded over to the Hornets. And they will just give it over to the Hornets, yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Alex Gustea on the service. Flips it over. They're going to try TJ once more, and he does pound it down. Huge kid. Out of Oceanside, California. He went to El Camino High School. As Santiago Matoyaani. Serves and a nice strike. That was guess who? Billy Vang slamming it down. Seven five Hornets in this second period. You're listening to Fullerton College Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. Float up. A little bit of a laser. Slammed down by Mesa. And Mesa will get that one. A little. It looked like Fullerton came out a little flat on that play, not much of movement around. Um, so here we go, back and forth once again. Very methodical 7-6 lead for your Fullerton College Hornets here. As Keener serves and it's out the backside, Fullerton re regains the possession after a quick, quick little flip. Billy Vang for the Hornets on to, on the service. Reception by Mesa. They're going to try to pound it down. TJ, good block for Fullerton. Ramos on the attempt, but can't get it. TJ once more on the slap, trying to get that point. Little joust at the net. 
TJ beats Ramos for the point. So it'll be 8-7 Hornets as we're neck and neck here. As TJ Latua Gasanoa is also back to serve now. TJ is one of their very important key players for San Diego. Absolutely, he's the team leader in scores and he just brings that momentum to the team. They re really rally around him. As, full, as Mesa scores that one, they tie it up here in the second period, eight to eight. <clears throat> little ch TJ chant from his teammates, ball is up, here's the flip, that time it's a little too low. Maybe the hype got to him a little bit, touched the net, back and forth again. Here we go with the, co the Fullerton College Hornets. San Diego has struggled tonight serving the ball. Cost them a few points. Nathan Cheev, very good setting up his teammates, is back deep now. Leads OEC in assists per set that time. It'll go right back to the Mesa Olympians. Rojas is serving for Mesa. Freshman out of Helix High School in San Diego, graces the net, set up by Fullerton. There's Connor Stoby on the attack, and it is good. It breaks the block of Santiago Matanfani. And Fullerton gets the ball back. Andrew Ramos to serve. You know, he wanted to get that one off a little early. He wants to just keep playing it. <clears throat> nice little touch there. 10-10, we are neck and neck. Wow, we have not seen what we saw last week, guys. That chunk of just a rally boom, rally boom. This time it's neck and neck every single, every single play. Fullerton's roster has a lot of freshmen on them, but you can see that they're getting better week by week. Great block by San Diego Mesa there. Trying to set it up now. A little joust at the net, and they will touch the net. Fullerton will, and Mesa receives the ball back, 11-10. Guys, it's been neck and neck. I keep saying over and over and over again. You know, if I were to bet, this would be a Fullerton point here. Let's see if I'm right. Absolutely not. So great job by Mesa to break through my jinx. And TJ, excuse me. Richard Aniaga back deep to serve. You know, Gary, and you do mention uh, about momentum. We got the chance to interview a couple of these Hornets players last week, and uh, I got the chance to talk to Paniagua uh, on the team, and he said uh, to me, you know, we have the opportunity to beat all of these teams in the conference. We just got to come out there, and we just got to compete and want it that much more than the other team. And right now we're seeing this Hornets team compete. And we see a lot of good communication by this Hornets team. I was talking with Jason Thompson and Connor Stoby, and they just have this great friendship, all of them, coming over to their houses, playing video games, you know, just being kids, building their chemistry together so they can play this well on the court. As that time, what a play. Santiago jumps over and just dips it down over two Hornet heads. It'll be 13, 14, excuse me. Mesa 14, Hornets 10 here in the second period. And that will be a timeout called by the Fullerton College Hornets. You're listening to Fullerton College Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. Fullerton College and RadCare remind you to care for your mental health in the face of uncertainty. And the rare care is as easy as reach out, ask for help, do something. Fullerton College students can reach the FC Health Center for more information about therapy at fullerton.fullcall.edu or the crisis text line by texting TALK to 741-741 or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. Rad Care, the root of care. Great job for Fullerton just to look out for their students and apply the, that extra help
Mesa with service, very loud in here. They're getting him amped up. Chang, he'll flip it into the net. And guess what? Fullerton has the ball. Once more, 11-14. Mesa winning. Razo. Razo back to, to with the service. Mesa's got a great wall by Fullerton, but it is counterdicted by Mesa, and they'll slam it down just out. Keener trying to dig on that that line. Two feet away, Razo back deep to serve. Popped up, grazes the net, received by Mesa. Little flip over in the middle, pounds it down. That was Isaac Grant for the Mesa Olympians. So we see Isaac Grant once more, six month sophomore out of Rancho Bernardino High School once more. Flips it out, back to the Hornets. 15-13 here in the second set. Service for Fullerton is gonna be Alex Gustea. Received by Mesa, set it up, little pump fake. They'll get it to TJ, but a nice block there up at the line. Nathan Sheave. Point Fullerton. Back deep. Ramos for the Hornets. Very solid defense for Mesa. Tries to tap it forward, then here comes the attack. TJ flips it over, palm in his hand. Fullerton's able to recover. Now they're gonna go hard. Ramos, with, or Chief with the save, a little kick by Ramos, but a little chaotic there, I felt. But Fullerton still had opportunities to get their hands on the ball, but just couldn't get it over correctly. 17-14 now, Mesa with the lead. Back deep on service. Keener once more, little laser towards the middle. Chivo set it up, nice pop, but it is recovered by Fullerton, TJ. Pounds it down, tips it over, I should say, with just great finesse to get those Fullerton Hornets right in the middle of the weak spot. Keener, unable to corral it is the Hornets. Andrew Ramos couldn't get a hand on it. It was coming right at his midsection, palms up. Not a very, not enough power to get it over. Is there's a timeout called by Fullerton? Nineteen fourteen here in the second period. This one's a little more slower than that first one, guys. You know, San Diego Mesa kind of woke up towards the end of that first period. Now we can see it now, back and forth, back and forth here in the second period. You're listening to Fullerton College Volleyball on 90.1 KBPK. And the score is Hornets 14, San Diego Mesa 19. And looking at our head coaches tonight, David Profit for Mesa started his career in Cal State Sacramento, played for four years and won a national club championship in 97. He's been at Mesa since 2018 and he's got these Olympians playing some of the tough, toughest teams in the state right now as Thought they were having a little conversation. That was Monteava. 
Andrew Rome, Ramos for Fullerton trying to get up there. Uh, Mesa denied him. There's Ramos trying to flip it over, but that'll be lasered into the net. It's 21-14 San Diego Mesa. They're starting to pull away now since I've said that, since I've, since I've kept repeating myself. The momentum has just definitely felt like a switch up as there's a fake right there. Great job for Fullerton to be ready for it. And then Chief pounds it down. Or excuse me, Connor Stobie. My fault. Connor Stobie with the point. I talked to him earlier or last week. And you know, like Jerry said earlier, these guys feel like they can play with the best of them. There's TJ again to slam it down. Wow, Fullerton has not had an answer for him in this period. He was virtually non-existent the first half of period one, but wow, he's come alive since then. He's back deep to serve. Little tip by Stobie, recovered by San Diego Mesa. Pound down, denied. Great job there. It was JT, JP DeLuna was there with Marcus Blewett to slam it down. Fullerton with the point. Back deep for Fullerton. Nathan Cheev, one of these elite freshmen for this Fullerton team. Very, very valuable to their success this season. Nathan Cheev is the assist leader for the Fullerton Hornets. One of the better players for Fullerton, the Long Beach Poly Jackrabbit. 23-16, Mesa here in the second period. Mesa looking to close out this match. This set, I should say. Roy Rojas back deep for Mesa. There's a little conversation. For the Olympians, it's getting loud. They're clapping, trying to tip it up. Chief to Stobie. Stobie flips it over. Nice play by the wall of the Olympians, and they will get that point for the effort. That was Isaac Grant in there to tip it. Bounced around a couple Hornets, and they couldn't figure out how to get it back over. Great play by Mesa. Roy Rojas once more. That one's got power. Stoby with the reception and the attack, and he'll get it in that corner. Great job there by Connor Stoby to just, you know, muscle that ball up, take a couple steps up, say, I got it, guys, and just putting it down in that corner for another point for the Hornets. Fullerton with the nice save there. That was. Ramos slips over by the Mesa Olympians, catches a finger of a Hornet, and, and they will take this match 25-17, very dominant from the start. It started off a little slow, back and forth action, very, very methodical, very back and, you know, fighting tooth and nail, but pulling away in the last... The last couple minutes, just to rattle off a huge lead, just to secure this one, make it a little bit more interesting. Tying it up 1-1 here in the third period. You are listening to Fullerton College Volleyball on 90.1 KBPK. Eddie Rapp, head coach of the Fullerton College Hornets, fourth year at the men's side. He's been here for 19 years coaching these Hornets with the ladies, beach volleyball, but he was a key component into bringing this men's program back that was dormant for 20 years. Guys, and he's got his team winning too. Just absolute dominance, you know, they're not even just this year, but just overall, since he's came here, he's made a huge impact. We can see all the banners up here. He's gonna add a few more if I'm a betting man. So observations, guys. What do you think Fullerton wants to do here to, you know, get this get this maybe 
period and just, you know, try to pull away and beat one of the better teams in California. I think Fullerton needs to be more sound defensively, um, trying to meet San Diego at the net, at the attack line, and maybe get a few more blocks, maybe get a few more digs where they can to make up the difference of losing Denim Young in that first set. Yeah, they haven't been the same team since that. Razo came in, great player, great player. He was flying around, but wow, Denim Young just putting on a show for that little period that we saw him in. I said it, I think I said his name every single time I was talking on here. He was just, wow, blowing me away. Yeah, he, he had an impact on the game, and we saw in the second set that without him, they have struggled, especially on the defensive end. But we'll see if their game plan changes in this third set and how they make adjustments without Denim Young for, it looks like, the remainder of the match. And you know what, guys? I am very impressed with this Fullerton team, even losing Denim Young. They were so, so dominant with him, but just just clawing. It wasn't even – they Mason pulled away at the end, but Fullerton was just neck and neck right there, just grinding it out. And this is one of the better teams in the state. You know, they they gave the state champions, reigning champions, the OCC Pirates a run for their money. They, they beat them in six sets, three to two, but, you know, very close. So it just reflects how talented this Hornets team is as well, is that they need to be in that conversation of one of the better teams in the OEC as Fullerton and Mesa take the field, take the, g the gym floor um, out there now for the Hornets. It's going to be Jason Thompson, Andrew Ramos, Albert Razo back also. Chief is out there. And of course we got Billy Vang. And a late addition of David Perez Gonzalez alongside Matthew Chang for the Mesa Olympians. Roy Rojas at Libero. Richard and Enigua. Yes, sir. And, you know, Isaac Grant flying around a lot for these Mesa Olympians is also out there. Here's Grant on service for Fullerton. Or, excuse me, David Perez Gonzalez. Mix him up a little bit. Poke it over again. Isaac Grant. Great wall by Mesa. Isaac Grant involved again. Here's Chief to set up. Nathan. Jason Thompson, excuse me, and he'll just, just a little too much full or extension on that swing. Couldn't get it to stick in the line. I'm gonna. Aguiana <laughs> kicked into the net a little too hard. Razo is back deep for Fullerton. It's 1-1 one, one here in the third period. Razo with the power and just too much of it. Outside corner, and it will go back to our visitors tonight. Serving errors have played a big factor in this game on both sides. Absolutely. Isaac Grant back once more for the Olympians. Service aces, we talked to those kids last week for Fullerton. They just say they, their mistakes are the problem. They know they can win, but the mistakes and just a little bit too much as San Diego Mesa flares one out the backside. And what we should remember is Fullerton is a rather young team, a lot of freshmen on this team. So this is an opportunity for them to gain some experience here. Absolutely, we got a lot of red shirts on this team too. Uh, very young. They've been here for a year, sitting behind the older guys. They're ready to play. As that one's airmailed back, Fullerton will receive once more. Isaac Grant flipped it out just a little too hard. Ramos for the Hornets is back there. Excuse me, Alex Custea. And that time will go out, you know. 
couple home runs out of the park, back and forth. They can't quite get a punch one in to get extra bases. Here's it's 4-2. Mesa with the ball and lead as it's flipped over by Manti Avia. Flipped up by him now. They're going to TJ. Wow, and just pounds it down. A couple Hornets were there, just couldn't keep their footing. And nice play for the Olympians to just, you know, stake that one down and extend their lead to three points. Santiago tips it over once more. Santiago sets it up. He'll flip it over on Fullerton. Here's Ramos or Gustea with the attack. And it's no good. It's going to be floated out, but Razo doesn't take the chance, flips it over, has a little joust at the net, and it will hit on the Mesa side. Point to San Diego. Excuse me. Fullerton got it. Fullerton with the score, they get the ball back. 3-5 here as Gustea with the service. They're gonna try to flip it to TJ, he slips down and just couldn't get there. Okay, so side out Hornets, it's 4-5 Fullerton here on 90.1 KBPK. We're in the third period, it's tied one to one. Third set, excuse me, I keep saying period, my, my bad everybody. Third set. Flips over. Slams down by TJ. Hits the wood here at the Hornets' nest. Five, excuse me, six to four here in the third set. Number 17, TJ, is showing his impact as a hitter for San Diego. Absolutely, he leads this team with points, just completely dominant. 60 digs on the year as well. Very good defensively as well. Looks like the referee will have a quick substitution here. It looks like uh, Nathan Cheeve is bleeding a little bit out of his hand and by requirement, they have to come out of the game and get it patched up and they can't return until they get it patched up. So we'll take a quick little timeout and see if Coach Eddie Rapp wants to have a substitution or if they'll let him just come back on after he gets patched up. 4-6, very reminiscent of the last set we saw. Very neck and neck. Couple injuries for Fullerton today. Two of their better players getting a little banged up. They are just playing so hard against this Mesa, good Mesa team beating the defending champs, or the, excuse me, beating the state runner-ups a few weeks ago. And Nathan Cheeve is a very important player for Fullerton. He sets a lot of players up. He's the assist leader for Fullerton. So they need to make sure they can keep him in this game, and he continues to have an impact. Hopefully his injury isn't too crucial. Yeah, just to patch it up. I don't know what was bleeding. I couldn't really see it. I don't know if you guys had a better angle. He wants to come back in, so we got a little stoppage here. A little bit of a free timeout here for both teams as they'll collect by their head coaches, and they'll get a quick word in, see if they can make some adjustments. Trying to, Fullerton trying to get back to that dominant start that they had, just complete slamming around. And, you know, Denham Young kind of getting banged up, kind of they've been a little flat since then, but very confident team. I know that they could find themselves and just when they're on, they're on and they could just rattle off big, 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 big jumps of, of points there like we saw the last match that we called. They're wiping the floor, making sure it's up to standard here at the Hornets' nest. 
coming back in with a big smile on his face. Chief back in. You know, just testing out the ground a little bit, trying to get a little, little rhythm. Got to make know. sure the shoes still squeak, right? Yeah, make sure, you know, make sure the camera zooms in, gets that little advertisement there. All right, San Diego Mesa with the ball. Step back for service. Here is Austin Ken Kenny. And Hullerton will strike back. You know, they were just catching their breath, I think. And they just wanted to come back and just pound one down. That was Hecker, Cameron Hecker. Freshman, six foot two from Troy High School, a little rival. There's a couple Fullerton kids on here, so they know each other. Back corner attack, little page out of Fullerton's book as Mesa gets that point. TJ back to serve for. for Mesa, flips it over. Custea targets him, can't get a grip. Last line of defense, couldn't get their hands on it. That's a point. Fullerton all hype up, 7-6 here. Visitors, San Diego Mesa with the lead. Fullerton with the service here. Flipped over by Fullerton. Little mis mishandled there by the Mesa Olympians. Isaac Grant couldn't get a good one. Make good contact. Fullerton with the point. We are tied once more. 7-7 seven, seven here in the third period. This is Fullerton College Volleyball on 90.1 KDPK. We'd like to welcome you in. Flips it over. Breaks through the little line of defense by Fullerton. TJ trying to get that one, he does. He catches Albert Razo, couldn't quite get a handle on it. Just so much power, they don't even wanna go. You know, I wouldn't wanna stand up there and take shots from him. That's just, it's just echoing through the, through the gym right now. Just the strength and power of both of these teams. Very, very confident and their ability, Razo sets it up. For Jason Thompson with the joust at the net. One over by Richard Onigua for the Mesa Olympians back deep. Once more to serve, it, now it's Roy Rojas. Primarily a defensive specialist, he's a freshman. So how much trust they got in him. Razo with the dive, nobody back deep for Fullerton. And Mesa says thank you and slams it down. That was Ricardo Loria with the point for the Olympians. 7-10 is our score here. Mesa, Rojas flips it over. Razo takes care of it. Little joust with the net. Slammed down, just complete power by Aniagua once again. Fullerton is, you know, a little flat right now. They haven't had an answer to this power that they've that San Diego Mesa has tapped into this in this in the set. The energy over there is also crazy from the bench. As an athlete, you definitely feed off of that. Fullerton flips it over. Nice play by TJ to, to keep it in bounds. Trying to set it up, Chief trying to off speed pitch it. Ah, little fight at the net, off the fingers of a hornet. Tipped over once more. TJ trying to pound it down, hornets are there. Jason Thompson with the setup. And it will be a point for the Olympians. It was side out hornets. 7-2, or excuse me, 7-12. to 12. 
The Olympians with the lead, and they've rattled off five straight so far. Roy Rojas pitching five great at bats. That time, little outside for ball one. The Fullerton will get it back. 8 12 is our score here at the Hornets' Nest. For service for the Hornets. David Perez Gonzalez, very one of the returners, sophomore for this Hornet team. Flipped over just with tremendous power. Isaac Grant. Fullerton just cannot get a handle on these power serves, power attack, anything. Just it, it seems like Fullerton right now is struggling defensively trying to get digs on the way more aggressive San Diego Mesa side. They've been able to find a lot of weak points in Fullerton's defense. As that one once again, Point Mesa kind of got right wrong around up there in the basketball net and 14-8 is our score here. Timeout called by Fullerton. 14-8. Fullerton College and RadCare reminds you to care for your mental health in the face of uncertainty and that RadCare is as easy as reaching out, asking for help, and doing something. Fullerton College students can reach out to the FC Health Center for more information about therapy at health.fullcall.edu or the crisis text line by texting TALK to 741741 -741 or by calling the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. Radical care, the root of care. Fullerton College, very, very, very looking out for the students. Hats off to them. Let's straight at, let's straight let's out the timeout. Sorry, Jay, you can go. Let's see if Fullerton can find some defense and close the gap that they have with San Diego right now. Kinnear punches in into the net, so it gives the Hornets a chance to chip away at that five point lead of Olympians as Razo flips it up there. Nice received by TJ, floated in the air a little bit, flipped over by the Olympians. And the slam down attempt by Thompson is no good because there was two Olympians waiting for him Santiago was there. Isaac Grant, Isaac Grant back deep for service. Fullerton playing very spread out defense for the first time in this match. And that's gonna be a foul ball. 15-10, Hornets will get that point back. And hope to chip away at this lead. Alex Gustea back for Fullerton on service. Flips it over, received by the Libero. Slammed down though, Nathan Chief. wow. It looks like Fullerton is trying a more athletic lineup out there. Not many guys too tall, but it looks like they're trying to use their athleticism to get around to some of these balls that they've been missing. They've taken out their two big defensemen at the line. I'm trying to counterdict this, oh, these Olympians with speed and it looks like it is working. Yeah. Billy Vang again, pounds it down and Fullerton is feeling that hype as, as San Diego Mesa now calls the timeout. And that's a big momentum timeout right there that Mesa just called. They see that the Hornets are starting to get a little bit more of that swinging their way. And the Mesa coach says, hey, you know what? Let's take a quick 10, 13 seconds to recuperate, slow down that momentum, and see if we can regain back some of that momentum our way. Yeah, but Fullerton comes out here very confident. They just ran out there. They're ready to play. You know, it looks like... It looks like Fullerton's lineup adjustment really is going to play an impact on how the, the remainder of this match is going to go. We'll see 
if San Diego Mesa makes any adjustments to the shorter lineup that Fullerton has put out there. And, and Jay, I'm glad you mentioned that they do have this shorter lineup because when I did interview Paniagua a few weeks back after their uh, match against El Camino, he said that one of the things that they're struggling with is that height difference and that they are one of those shorter teams in the OEC. And right now we're seeing that that doesn't seem to be as much of a problem right now. They're still able to get some of that height to block those uh, shots over the net, but using their athleticism, like you said, to be able to run up and down the court, like we saw Billy Vang earlier in that first set, going up and down, left, right, back and forth. I mean, they're using that athleticism to their advantage. As Fullerton regains possession after that one grazes the net, falls on San Diego territory. Back deep for the Hornets. With, with still that momentum brewing, Ramos, Razo sets it up, Chief, big swing, but it's just out, just out. Ramos wanted that one, he thought he got it, just full extension, just, you can hear the power. If that, if that touches the line, very deadly player for Fullerton. And these young guys are definitely learning, you know, putting in their work, getting that, experience and they played so good against such such a high level team thus far there is nathan chief excuse me billy vang just out he wanted that one too you can see the fire in these fullerton college hornets just can't keep it in play service for didn't quite go as they expected, but it still worked out. Kinnear hits the net, dribbles at the feet of some Hornets, and they will continue service as we got a timeout called, this time by Fullerton. And speaking of interviews, we, you and Guy Garrett did get the opportunity to interview some of the volleyball players last week. And last semester, we were blessed with the opportunity to talk some of the women's volleyball team. And coming out later this uh, season, uh, we'll get an opportunity to talk to the Hornets volleyball team as well as softball. We'll get a little bit of basketball action in there. And all of that is going to be on the Coaches Show, presented every single week by 90.1 KBBK. And that's always fun to go watch. And uh, if you ever have the opportunity to go check it out, you'll get the opportunity to see who we get to interview. And some of the student athletes that are here at Fullerton College, you get a little bit more insight on what their day-to-day -day life looks like and uh, what some of the game plans and mental preparation that goes into every single week to be a student athlete here at Fullerton College. And such a high level athleticism for, for Fullerton in that program, at, in this program, OEC also always one of the top. So you're getting inside of, inside one of the better teams in the nation. As it's now 20 to 13, our visitors, the San Diego Mesa Olympians, Back deep to serve, Kinnear once again. Absolutely dominant player by this team. Wow, Inodo grazed the corner and catch a point. Ex Excuse me, it did not. Fullerton just a little too far, maybe a few inches. 20 to 14 in service, here's Billy Vang. Popped it up right to TJ. He's gonna try that slam down too, but two Hornets are there to pound it over, or he, he does get the score, splits that double team, and TJ back deep, just absolutely dominant. We could, we could talk about him all day, see where he places it this time. Little floater towards the middle, picked up here is, ah, oh, big, big defensive stand for Mesa. They're taking a page out of Fullerton from when they played him earlier. Just dominant, dominant so far by Mesa. As Jason Thompson checks out for Alex Gustella. We'll Service. See. We'll see if Fullerton can bring together a rally here. And what better person to do it? Nathan Chief with the floater. Fakes out TJ with the swing. Very great, very good play by Mesa right there. Faked him out a little bit. Caught Fullerton off guard. They couldn't get that hand in. That was Cameron Hecker trying to take on that power force and the 
wearing number 18. Chief Ramos with the floater, two, two defenders there at the net, denies it. And that time Fullerton with the block, but Mesa is able to recover. Nice play by Chief to keep this one alive. A little tapper by, by Fullerton, and that time it'll go out the back. A little too much power, a very finesse in that, in that volley, guys, and then the one power shot, just a little too much in that corner to gain a point. Towards the end of this set, Fullerton's defense has started to show some life, show some fight. Alex Perez Gonzalez for FC on the service, floats it over. Little joust at the net, they'll get a little too much on it. And Fullerton will graze, it'll graze a finger of a Hornet defender and Mesa gets the ball right back once more. Gwini Agua back for service for, for Mesa, pops him up. Chief sets it up for Ramos. And they will say goes out. So Mesa retains possession. This could be match point. Absolutely right. Fullerton needs to needs to get this point to stay alive. <laughs> Great blocks up front by Fullerton. They've iced TJ twice now. That time they'll they'll go up against him. Finesse trying to drop it over the middle. Fullerton's there. Chief with the block. Ah, slam down. What a great play by. Santiago for Mesa. They will take this one 25-16 in the third set. You're listening to Fullerton College Volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. As we take a look at the score here, Fullerton College currently down two sets to one as we go into the fourth set. Hornets taking the first set 25 to three against the San Diego Mesa Olympians, losing the second set 17 to 25 and losing the third set 16 to 25. Fullerton College and RadCare reminds you to care for your mental health in the face of uncertainty. And that RadCare is as easy as reaching out, asking for help and doing something. Fullerton College students can reach the FC Health Center for more information about therapy at health call, excuse me, at health.fullcall.edu or the crisis text line by texting TALK to 741-741 or calling the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. Radical Care, the root for care. I'm Jerry Roque, and I'm going to be joined alongside Ryan Schulman and Brady Knight here for the fourth set inside of the Hornet's Nest at the beautiful campus of Fullerton College. 
guys, you guys were up in the stands. What did you guys see in that first, second, and third set? The first set definitely looked like Fullerton had a good chance of winning this match, but after the second set, it definitely looks like Mesa could take this third set and take the fourth set and uh, take this game. As we get set here to start the fourth set, Hornets looking to retake that lead and tie it at 2-2 which would send us into that fifth set, which will go up until 15, or the winner leads by two. Seems like San Diego has just been uh, capitalizing on, capitalizing on Fulton's mistakes here. The ball gets sailed up high. Ramos is going to set it over. Chief. Knock it back over. As Mesa looks to get the starting point here. And a great matchup going back and forth as both teams are looking to score that first point. And the Olympians are going to come out scoring the first point here in the fourth set. The Olympians have seen to have been beating the Hornets at the net all game. Back to serve for the Olympians, Richard Aguinagua. As he sells it right into the net, and the Hornets will get their first point in the fourth set. Let's see if they can take that momentum and swing it their way, gentlemen. And back for the serve for your Hornets, number 10, Albert Razo, the freshman outside hitter. A little bit of topspin on that ball as the Olympians look to set it up. And they'll go cross court and it'll fall out of bounds. Shot there by Austin Keener for the Hornets to take a two to one lead here in the fourth set. You're watching Fullerton College men's volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. As Alex Razo sends it over the net once more. And a shot there by Santiago Mantovani and is able to get a side out for the Olympians. Santiago is easily able to find that right corner, the hole in Fullerton's defense. And it looks like they've been attacking that right corner in the very beginning. Me and Garrett talked about it in the first set. Seems like that's where their uh, hot spot was initially, but looks like they shifted it over to the center. And we'll see if they take it back over into that far right corner here in the fourth set. As the ball Fullerton's gets set up for Ramos. front line has been dominating this round, so it makes sense that their back line is going to take some of that pressure off as the Olympians currently lead three to two here in the fourth set. And the Hornets will get a side out. Just didn't get the right connection right there on the serve. And we'll be tied three apiece here in the third, or excuse me, the fourth set. Back to serve for the Hornets, Alex Gustea. Into the back corner was served there by Richard Aguinagua, but unable to find the line. The point will, will be rewarded over to the Hornets as they keep their momentum. Alex Gustea to serve once more. As the ball will go up nice and high and deflected. Great job there by the Hornets, taking it off the chest, off the hands. The Olympians send it over, and a little bit of a miscommunication there on the connection there. Looks like that was Nathan Cheeve and Andrew Ramos, as well as Alex Razo trying to go for that ball, but it'll just fall out of bounds. We are tied at four apiece. That was three sets in a row by Richard Aniagua. Really able to find those spots, really able to set his offense for a great attack. Montavani sends it back over, and Billy Vang able to get a strike in there and score the side out for your Fullerton College Hornets. As we get a quick substitution change here, looks like Connor Stobie will come back in as David Perez-Gonzalez will take a quick break. Andrew Ramos with the serve for your Hornets. As that attack will go over by Ricardo Laura. 
and the Olympians will get a side out and tie it back up at five apiece. Another great set by Richard Anawagua. Set up to Stoby. Thought that might have been a double touch there by the same person, but the referee will let them play on, and the point will be rewarded back over to the Olympians as that falls out of bounds. A little unorganized from the Fullerton defense. That's why San Diego was able to catch them on their toes. Back to serve. Number 23, sophomore Isaac Grant. Isaac Grant currently has 50 kills on the season, with, I'll have to say, a couple of more added in there in this match. Great strike there. The Olympians able to hold on to it and keep possession. As Nathan Chief will send it over to Billy Vang, but Billy Vang just not able to get it inside of the marker. Point will re be rewarded over to the Olympians. Will now take the lead by two. Current score is seven to five here in the fourth set. Hornets are really gonna have to get some momentum going if they want to win this match. Austin Keener with the service ace there will bump the score up eight to five. It looked like Ramos and Connor Stoby were a little bit hesitant on that one, trying to get it. And the ball will fall right into the net. The Hornets will get a side out. That's unlike Austin Kinnear. He's been serving great this whole match. So we get a quick substitution here. Looks like Colin Pillsbury will come out. Or excuse me, Colin Pillsbury will come in for Austin Keener. And back to serve for your Hornets is going to be Alex Lucero, the freshman. Strike into the back corner from Mesa. Set up for Cheeb. Over to Stobie. And a diving attempt there by the Olympians. Who send it into the back corner and able to get that point there. That's, that's a I see a lot of commu communication through San Diego Mesa. That's why they're able to orchestrate those plays, find that bottom right corner. Back to serve for the Olympians, Latua Gassineau, who is that leading kill person for this Mesa team which we had mentioned early in the first set, that he was going to be that impact player for the Olympians. He made great sides on the offense and the defense side of the ball. Back to serve once more. Latula Gasanoa, hoping to keep the streak going for the Olympians. Received by Ramos, and a little bit of a volley there at the net, but Mesa able to control the ball. As Ricardo Lorja able to spike it down, and the Hornets just not able to control that ball. Got very crowded at the net as they both kind of try to control that center. Back to serve once more, but it'll fall in bounds. Hornets DJ looking a little bit lost there. You just had a little too much gas on that one. Looks like we'll get a quick timeout here from your Fullerton College Hornets. Current score, 12, San Diego Mesa, and your Hornets, 6, here in the fourth set. Fullerton College and RadCare reminds you to care for your mental health in the face of uncertainty, and that RadCare is as easy as reach out, ask for help, do something. Fullerton College students can reach the FC Health Center for more info about therapy at health.fullcall.edu or the crisis text line by texting TALK to 741-741 or call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. Radical care, the root of care. Hornets really looking to get something going as they need the momentum to win this match. Yeah, it just Latua, seems that Gass oh, yeah. Go ahead. It just seems that Fullerton is not very communicative when the ball comes in the air. It does seem like it's falling apart a little bit there. They were very hot in the first and second set, communicating back and forth. Sideline was very excited, but it seems like it has gone into a little bit of a lull there. 
point will be rewarded on that last play to the Hornets as Mesa's ball is unable to stay in bounds. As we'll get a quick substitution here for your Hornets as Alex Gusteo will step out and we'll see Marcus Blewett come back to the front of the line. Back to serve Nathan Chief, freshman outside hitter. Nathan Chief with a little bit of a floater but just not able to stay in bounds. Side out for Mesa. Current see score. Lot, see a lot more communication through Mesa. Look at the coach out there. It's Ready almost to, like an extra player on the court. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought, yeah. He's really involved in the game. As that ball will sail into the net, Horn is able to get a nice easy side out there and regain the possession as we'll see Connor Stobie step back for your Hornets and see if he can get a hot streak going and retake this lead. As the ball will graze back over the net and a shot will be taken and a powerful shot, I might say, by Isaac Grant. Isaac Grant has been one of those impact players that we've seen take control of this team, or excuse me, take control of this match for Mesa as we get a quick substitution here. I mean, that left side of Fullerton's defense, they weren't even able to react to that one. I mean, the power and just the speed of that shot, I mean, you're either in the right place at the right time or that ball is going to hit the ground, as we saw as it did. As we'll get the shot there by Richard Aguinagua. Ball will be set up high. And a little bit of a scrub there by Marcus Blewett as he's unable to make contact. The Olympians will currently take the score 15 to 8. You're watching Fullerton College men's volleyball here on 90.1 KBPK. And guys, we talk about momentum in these past few sets, and it really seems like Mesa's been giving up a few of these shots here, not being able to hold on to that lead or hold on to this possession. Hornets are really going to have to hold on and capitalize on those mistakes that Mesa's giving them. Back to serve, Albert Razo. A little bit of topspin on that ball, set up nice and high. As Keener looks to set it up, great save there by the Hornets. As the ball will sail out of bounds, and the point will be rewarded over to the Olympians. Looks like there was a violation there. All you're hearing right now is everybody from the Olympian side talking. There's no one on Fullerton's end, so it's not a surprise that the score is what it is right now, given that. And honestly, that sideline really does act like an extra player. When your sideline is pumped up just as this Mesa team is, it can really help swing the momentum your way and keep it your way. Especially when they're on the road like they are. That coach is in there giving his input every play, making sure his players are knowledgeable on everything going on. As the Hornets take over the ball, Alex Gustea with the serve. Oh, back up top, a great powerful shot there. A Richard Aguinagua able to keep it in. Back over to Austin Keener, looks to float it over. A great save as Andrew Ramos looks to pull it over. And a little bit of a floater there by TJ Latula Gasanoa. Seems like San Diego Mesa has been setting up all these attacks while Fulton's just been defending. And Eventually they're going to get caught on their toes and they're going to give away points. And right now they have been pulling away. Current score 10 to 17. Your Hornets down by seven. As they'll take that shot there and regain the power and the momentum. Alex Gusea with a powerful shot into the center of the court. As so we get another substitution here. As David Perez Gonzalez will step out and we'll see Connor Stoby come back in for your Hornets. Andrew Ramos with the serve. A little bit of a floater into the back corner. Great job by the Hornets defending that. Stobie looking to make a shot. And Stobie unable to convert as that's blocked there by the Olympians defense. Keenan and Lorha with their height were able to dominate that net. Keener looking for the serve right here. Hornets receive. Back over to Connor Stobie. And Stobie just, oh. Looks like Stobie will get that point there. Looks like there was a little bit of a touch there by the Olympians, and the point will be rewarded to the Hornets. 18 to 12, your score here at the Hornets' Nest. 
And our impact player, Billy Vang, will take the serve here for the Hornets. Ball will come up high. And TJ Latula Gasanoa once more with the powerful shot there, able to float it over and find the center of the court. As he'll go back to serve. Yeah, you really see Fullerton missing Denim Young here. After that first set, it was neck and neck for basically that whole entire set. And the second he went out, they just don't know how to communicate with each other and react to balls on time. Fullerton seems to get on the right foot in the beginning of the set, but as the set goes on, Mesa is just able to expand their lead. Nathan Cheeve with the serve for your Hornets. Looking to regain that lead as he'll float it on over the net. Great defensive effort there. Albert Razo. The ball will be spiked down by Richard Aguinagua. Give the Olympians current score a 20 to 13. Five points away from taking the lead. Fullerton just seems to be one step behind every single play right now. This way, it looks like we might have a game in pretty soon. Fullerton with the 2 4 formation. That ball will be blocked by the Olympians, but fall out of bounds there by Isaac Grant. The point will be rewarded over to the Hornets. Connor Stobie back deep. Now, the boys are only six points behind here, which is totally doable. They just need to regain that momentum, make those offensive plays, and be strong at the defensive front. Stelby with the serve, and a powerful serve, I might say. Great job there by Chief, able to look on and stay defensively. Great job there by JP DeLuna. Back over to Chief, back over to Stoby. Stoby will find that back line. <laughs> Looks like we nearly got our table taken out here, trying players. to save that ball. <laughs> I'll put some effort into that. And here's where that momentum would start to swing that way, right? Now we've got that point. That score is now cut down to five. They know at this point, every point matters. And looks like they'll get a net violation for the Olympians. And the Hornets will take another point, cutting down that lead to four. Connor Stobie looking to get the team fired up with the hot hand here. Fulton has been able to put themselves in a lot better position, but they still have a lot of clawing out to do. And there's that momentum timeout I had mentioned earlier in the other set, or the third set, I should say. Olympians looking to take a little bit of a break and a breather and reset their defense and offense. I think Fullerton needs to stay aggressive get more kills, and just be a little bit more orchestrated on their defense as well. And you can see on their faces here, the Hornets looking a little bit more determined as they look to retake this lead and take the fourth set and send it into a fifth set. Stobie with the serve. Ray Rojas over to Lagasanoa. Stoby will send it over. Squibbed over by Gasteo. Over to Chief, back over to Ramos. Great save there by Stoby. Back deep for the Olympians as they send it over. And a great job there by number 19, Marcus Blewett, to find that opening and catch that Olympian off guard as they cut down that lead, 17 to 20. A lot of great touches by both sides. As we'll get a quick substitution here for the Olympians. Colin Piersberry coming in for the Olympians, taking out Austin Keener. Stoby gets the clear from the referee. He'll send it into the net. Now here's where that defensive front is going to need to happen once more. They had that momentum swinging their way offensively, able to get those points. Now we just have to hope that the Hornets can hold the front defensively, get the side out, and cut down that lead once more. It's going to take a lot from their key players like Billy Vang and Alex Guastella. Billy Vang has been on a tear tonight, but he's been quiet on this last set.
And a great job there by Marcus Blue it once more to get the point. And there's that momentum shift that we were looking for. Current score 21 to 18 as the Hornets have cut down that lead from seven back down to three. Nearly defended by Rojas to Lombaro, but wasn't able to get there. Albert Rojas with the serve and a powerful serve once more with a little bit of top spin. Rojas with the save over to Chief, over to Vang, and Vang able to find the pocket in the center. Nice little donut hole there for him to dunk it into. That's that creativity of Billy Vang. Finds a couple of more of those, and he'll have a baker's dozen for tonight. As Albert Razo looks to serve once more. Back up to the Olympians, and they'll regain that score and keep the momentum their way as it'll fly off the fingertips. And there's that momentum timeout once more as they've cut down that score 20 to 21. Your score here at the Hornets Nest at Fullerton College Campus. That was an amazing block by Ramos. He's really able to see what the attacker was trying to do, and he just stuffed him right at the line. Mesa looking here to regain the momentum and cut that lead down. Hold on to this lead, I should say. As the Hornets' momentum and their sideline starting to get fired up here in the fourth set. And in a home game, no matter how good or how wrecked good your record can be, being a home team always gives you some sort of advantage. Exactly. Fullerton needs to capitalize on that here. What better place to do it than here at the Hornets Nest? Raza with the serve and nearly getting that ace there, but a great job defensively by the Hornets, or excuse me, by the Olympians. This ball will be set back up, sent over by Isaac Grant. Marcus Blewett finding that pocket in that donut hole once more to tie it back up at 21 apiece. Four more points for the Hornets to take it and send us into the fifth set. Albert Razo to serve once more for your Hornets. As he'll send it over. Received by the Olympians. Blewett really TJ has a Latu whole bag of shots in his arsenal. Latula Lagasanoa able to find that donut on the uh, Hornets side there to retake the lead, 22 to 21. As both teams getting fired up here to hold on to the lead. Isaac Grant to serve, received by Ramos. Over to Chief, back over to Marcus Blewett. Marcus Blewett able to score that point and get the side out, and we're tied at 22 apiece. As we'll get a quick substitution here, Marcus Blewett coming out. And we'll get Alex Gostella. Back to serve for your Hornets. Powerful shot from Alex as we've seen all match. See if he can hold on to this lead and get that momentum their way. Received by the Olympians. A powerful shot there by TJ. Great blocking there by the Olympians. Back over to Gostea. Gostea sends it over. So they're looking opposite way. Thought that might have been a double hit there by Kinier. The rest will play it on. Set up by Chief. Set over by Vang. Chief by Grant. Back over to Keener. Raza able to hold on to it over to Ramos, who sends it over. And Keener looking to get that powerful shot in, and he will. 23 to 22. You're really seeing the height difference here between both teams. Right now, Fullerton doesn't have anybody over 5'11 in the game. Meanwhile, everyone for the Olympians is over 5'11. So. And that's one of those things we did talk about earlier with uh, Jay in that third set, is that the Hornets don't really have that height advantage as some of these other teams do in the Orange Empire Conference. But what they lack for in height, they make up for in the athleticism that we've seen. And these guys have been running up, down, left, and right all around the court. And one of those key players that we saw early in that first set before he got injured was Denham Young. And we can see that this Hornets offense is starting to make up for that loss with Denham Young. And they're flying around all over the place. Yeah, it only took them a set or two. But it seems as of right now that they're starting to gain some momentum and really learn how to play together right now without Denham Young in the game. Definitely would have a whole different game without Denham Young because he was looking really good in that first set for sure. as the Olympians will get set to serve here. 
Santiago Mantovani. Looking to hold on to that lead. Up to Chief, over to Billy Vang. And Billy Vang unable to float it over. Looking for a little bit of a soft touch there, but just not really able to get it over with the net. Himself. You could tell he was not very happy with that. He really needed that point there. Yeah, one of the few mistakes you're going to see him make all night. And with how tight the score is right now, there's no way he's going to want to make that mistake again. As it's game point here, and the Hornets will get a side out 23 to 24. The winner has to win by two. So this next possession is really important for the Hornets here to tie it back up and keep that momentum their way. It's going to be given to Andrew Ramos for the serve. Back up to Chief, sends it up to Billy Vang, back over to Chief, who will set it into the back corner and able to score that point as it's off the fingertips of the Olympians. Carter Lorge is just not able to control that ball alongside Richard Aguinagua. Ramos to serve once more, tied at 24 apiece. Winner has to take it by two. And a great shot there by TJ Latula Gasanoa. He's been staying aggressive in every set. The Hornets defense has to make a stop here. Winner has to take this by two. So a big defensive stop here has to be made. Austin Kinnear over to Ramos. Back up to Chief. And Connor Stoby. great block there by the Olympians. Over to Chief. Back over to Stoby once more. TJ with the save. As he'll spike it back down into the floor. Final score, 26 to 24 in the fourth set. TJ was really able to find that right corner where they had holes in their defense. Olympian, point of set number four. 